two Ryans, the seniors, Ryan White and uh, Ryan Smith. Didn't play a whole lot last year, but they're big parts of what you're doing. Can you talk about those guys? <coughs> they? We, we, we've been very proud of both those guys, um, the way they perform on the field, uh, their leadership. Um, you know, they bought into what, what our coaches have asked them to do with great attitudes, and really both of them have even stepped up into a leadership role. And um, you know, I think that's very critical for not only those guys, but really for all of our seniors. Um, you know, we've tried to empower our seniors, and um, you know, so far as a group, they've done a solid job. Gus, if those injured players back on defense, how much do you think it helps out that side of the ball? And do you see that defense improving over the course of the season? Yeah, I mean, we've had some some big blows uh, defensively as far as injuries goes, and. You know, anytime that happens, especially if, if it's to impact players, and some of them are definitely impact players, you've got to kind of mix and match. And uh, so hopefully we'll stay healthier moving forward and we'll get some stability and, uh, you know, and improve. And, and I think that, that you know, will be a big factor moving forward. Kamai here over the guy that's got some pass rushing ability. <coughs> is, is it somebody that can help you pretty quick? That, that, that's a possibility. You know, he, he's out there and he's getting better. Has, has Jeff? Would it for practice at all? As no. About Trey Mason, how, how, how impressed have you been with the way he's been running the ball, especially against LSU, even when you got a down point? Right. Uh, he, he, you know, he made some real hard yards. And we, you know, Coach Horton's always talking about yards after contact. And, you know, I think close to half his yards work. And uh, I think that's important moving forward, breaking tackles, uh, you know, making people miss. And he did a solid job of that against LSU. Is it ball security with him? I know. Had some struggles with fumbles yeah. this season last season. What do you guys? Well, we, we got to cure it, and uh, the, you know, that's a big. That was a big point of emphasis last week. Uh, ball security, um, protecting the ball. Um, if we can't afford, you know, to put the ball on the ground. What is your assessment of uh, Bo Wallace, and what's your single most greatest concern about Coleman's offense? Well, I think he's. Uh, first of all, I think he's a very good quarterback. Uh, I think he can make all the throws. I think he's very nifty as a runner, uh, especially inside. You know, he's he, he's very good with the inside zone. He's very good with their speed sweep read, finding cracks, and he's a tough guy. Um, I know Hugh's got a lot of confidence in him, and, you know, the, he's got confidence he'll call anything. And uh, so he's a, he's a very good quarterback. Is that one of the biggest concerns just defensively? Because it seems any quarterback that's able to do anything, when things break down, they've been able to pick up a lot of yards against you on the, on the ground. Yeah, but we've got a better job containing him, there's no doubt. But uh, but he's a very nifty and talented guy, you know, especially running. Uh, he's faster than you think he is, and he's he's uh, he's like a running back, you know, uh, in the box. Gus, you mentioned the, the emphasis put on ball security during during the off week. When, when Rhett was here Sunday, he said the ball security is the baddest he can ever remember since he's since you guys have been here. Is there anything you can attribute that to, any reason for that? Well, we've got to do a better job emphasizing it, coaching it. We've really turned up the heat in that area, and that's an area that's got improved. And uh, it's been glaring. There's been uh, balls on the ground that we actually got back, and uh, so that was that was a big point of emphasis last week, and it'll be a point of emphasis moving forward. If you get Chris Davis back this week, you get him that punt return, or oh, we'll, we'll see how he does this week. How much has Trey's game changed from the player you kind of used as a freshman? Well, he was. Um, you know, as a freshman, what stands out to me is he's a tough guy. Um, he'd be willing to, to do anything. He had a great attitude. He still has a great attitude. He's just a more veteran guy. He understands the big picture. He doesn't just know what he does, but he understands why we do stuff and um, the adjustments we'll make. And I think, you know, that just comes with experience. You said that he texted you Sunday and said, I don't enjoy playing my friends. Uh, what's the most difficult part about coaching against a close friend like that? Well, I mean, uh, you just, you know, you got a job to do. And, uh, you know, you, you got to do whatever's best to help your team win after the game. You know, we'll get back to normal. But this is a, this is a big game for both of us, and we both understand that. And uh, like I said, after the game, we'll go back to normal. Get us back to Trey for a minute. When you looked over things last week, did, given his production, everything coming up to the LSU game, there's a discussion about whether or not he would get more carries and be that, that premier guy as you looked over things last week. Is he going to be in that role? Or are you looking to be still in a split with him and Cameron? Well, you know, we got three running backs we feel very good about. And uh, they're all three different. We'll utilize them at, at uh, you know, what we feel like their 
strengths are. But uh, we're, we're definitely happy with Trey. Uh, we're happy with Cameron and, and Corey, too. And uh, so we'll just week to week, you know, we'll see what they're giving us. And week to week could be a little different. Just your overall evaluation of Holsey and, you know, having to move you know, back and forth in the spring and to what he's doing now. Yeah, I mean, he, he's been a big part of what we're doing. We're asking him to do a whole lot. You know, he started out a corner, now he's a safety. Plays some nickel. Uh, he's just a football player. Um, he's very valuable to what we're doing. And, uh, he's, a, he's a real intelligent kid, too. I mean, he's got really good football instincts. Coach, Ole Miss has a very strong defense, a lot of tackles for losses. How much reliance will stay on our running game knowing the intensity of that defense? Well, you, you know, we're going to – we're going to need to be able to run the football to be successful. Um, but uh, that, that definitely is a concern. They had, have had a lot of negative plays, and uh, that's something that we've talked about, we're focusing on. And uh, you know, that'll definitely be a challenge. Gus, you brought up last week that Brandon Fulfs and, and Melvin Ray would kind of be the guys you're looking yeah. at to replace Jalen. Did they continue to do that during yeah. practice? Yeah, I think so. Both those guys got reps at that position and uh, feel comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, he is. Uh, had a good week of practice last week, and uh, we expect him to be ready to go. Were there any kind of uh, changes uh, personnel-wise going go forward? I know y'all evaluated individuals mm -hmm. along as scheme. Did you kind of make any big changes there? Well, I mean, we've we evaluate everything, and uh, you know, we try to get a plan moving forward. It gives us the best chance of being successful and the best chance of improving each week. And so Saturday, there, you could see a few little tweaks and all that. Um, but uh, that's the plan we have moving forward. Coach Free said that uh, they had some trouble communicating at Alabama because of the crowd noise. I know you mentioned earlier about how important it is, but yeah. how important is it for this game? Oh, it's very critical. You know, we get the best fans of college football, and uh, that atmosphere, you know, especially in the fourth quarter against Mississippi State, was second to none, and we'll need four quarters of that. And uh, that'll, that'll be a huge advantage for us. With our craft. What's the biggest thing Nick got out of the final week? You know, hopefully a chance to catch his breath, to get better at the foundation runs and passes, just uh, what we do, and feel more comfortable. I think uh, that's that was our biggest concern. We try not to add a whole bunch of stuff, just try to zero in with the information we had on what we felt like his strengths are. Anything else? All right, Coach. Okay. Thank you.